The Jim Crow laws decided on separate but equal facilities, but the question is, were they really equal? It's fairly common knowledge that it was not equal, and this is most obvious in the education opportunities that were provided for young African Americans. An example of this is the court case Missouri X. Rel. Gaines v. Canada. Lloyd Gaines, an African American, sued the School of Law at the State University of Missouri for being denied admission solely because of his race. During the case, the school admitted that he did actually meet the academic requirements, but they still refused to accept him. The U.S. Supreme Court eventually decided that the school was legally required to admit him or build a second law school to accommodate African Americans. The case received a variety of very different and very strong reactions from people. And soon after the case ended, Lloyd Gaines mysteriously disappeared. No one knows for sure, but it is speculated that he either ran away to escape intense media attention or was sadly murdered by racial extremists. It is certain, though, that his case paved the way for more equal opportunities for future generations of African Americans.